a member of the Black Lives Matter Bay Area chapter. So I took some notes. So forgive me if I'm looking down. Shout I'll try to, to make eye contact with you. But today on Dr. King's, uh, we're honoring Dr. King's legacy. And in the Black Lives Matter movement, we know that our movement is a continuance of the black liberation freedom struggle. That's right, yes. that's right. And it's important for us to know that we're a little bit different from the civil rights movement as well. That's right. We have a radical, inclusive politic. Right. We center the people who are in the margins in our community. So we're talking about trans black women. Right. We're talking about disabled folks. Right. We're talking about queer people. We're talking right. about black children. Right. These are the people that need to be at the center of our movement. Break it down. We're also unapologetically black. Right. 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 When Say we shut again. down BART on Black Friday 2014, that was an all black group. Right? <coughs> and it's important that we center black people in this struggle because we know that black people and our liberation is connected to the liberation of people not only in this country but across the world. Yeah. 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 This better said third world for black power. This is a third world struggle against imperialism, yep. against global capitalism. Right. Right. We're shutting down right. business right. Right. because we know that businesses exploit black communities. Yes. We know that this is a historic struggle. Yeah. We were brought, brought here, kidnapped from our land, stolen from our people to work the land. Right. Right. And today we're asking for something. We're demanding something else. It's important. So I want to talk a little bit about our demands. When we shut down BART in, 2015, in 2014, we said we're going to end the war on black communities. So we got to actually lay out a plan to how we end that war on black communities. There are generals in this war that are attacking our folks. And it's time that we put them on blast. It's time for Libby Shaft's resignation yeah. today. Lee's resignation. Yes. It's time that we hold these chief of police accountable to our communities. Yes. That means we don't want Sean Wint as chief of police in no, Oakland. We don't, we don't. That means we demand Greg Sir is fired from SF as well. Yes. In order for us to do this, we got to keep it up. We got to build across sectors in this movement. When we successfully got the charges dropped against the Black Friday 14. We got labor. We got the fight for 15. We got unions across the state of California to shut down her office, to occupy her office and say that it's not okay for you to discriminatively charge black people in this movement while not charging other folks as well. Right. That movement was also important. It wasn't only um, labor unions that shut down her office. We have faith leaders that came through and shut it down as well. Yeah. That's right. This was Christians. These were Jewish folks. These were Buddhists. Yeah. These yeah. were people who had indigenous practices. We shut it down because we know that we're building a powerful movement, a radical popularist movement to shut down and transform this system. Yeah. Yeah. And so we also know that they're not going to give it to us. No. <laughs> that they're not going to just stop killing black folks. It's important for us to realize that we got to take it. That's right. We got to build our power and we need to take power. That's right. We want a society that values human dignity of all people. We want a society that loves justice and freedom. Right now, our society loves profits That's over right. people. That's right. Right. It's important for us to understand that. We also must understand that our democracy is not a democracy. Right. We must understand that the people from the outside, the people with money, runs the political system, That's right? right? Yeah. So now it's time for the people to rise up and say, no, this is our democracy, that we need to take it over. We need to bring justice and freedom, we got to take it. And then lastly, I want to talk about the economy, right? Because the economy is ran by the richest people, right? So it's no wonder, there's no question why our labor is being exploited, right? And so what do we need to do? We need the economy to be ran by the people who work the land, right? by 
are people who work the land. Yeah. And so, in closing, this is a beautiful struggle, but it doesn't stop here today. In order for us to reclaim the legacy of Dr. King, it's important for us to be in the street. Like Kat was saying earlier, we need to do organizing, we need to do door knocking, we need to be building up the consciousness of our neighbors, of our families, in order for us to transform this system. We need your help. We need you and your communities to start organizing so that we can change, transform this political system. Are you with me? Yeah!